Now, tuning. You just, uh, you just ran an algorithm. And somewhere in that code, there was some place where you had to put like regularization parameter or learning rate or whatever. And you like, look at this thing. You're like, what even is that? Point 0.1, I'll just put point 0.1. Where did that point 0.1 come from? How did you pick that number that went into the settings? Oh, you just picked it out of nowhere, didn't you? Didn't you? We should have a little talk about hyperparameters. First off, what is a hyperparameter? I give you multiple choice. Hyperparameters are either A, parameters on too much caffeine, or B, numerical settings in an algorithm. Which one is it? B. So what is a parameter in machine learning? When we were doing that regression example, the numbers in red that we could tinker and fiddle with to adjust our solution, like the intercept and slope, those were parameters that we could mess about with. A hyperparameter is something that is there before your data even hit the algorithm. So here's how you might think of it in our kitchen analogy. You have this meat grinder thinger. It has a coarseness setting on it. You have to put the coarseness setting to something to even be allowed to turn the handle. If you try not to have a coarseness set, then the handle falls off. Then you can't even use this thing. So when you get this thing out of the box and you want to try it, where are you going to set that coarseness dial to? Whatever the factory setting is, or maybe you have a favorite number, some unprincipled choice. And you try that, maybe a few settings, haphazardly, just to get a sense of whether you even want to use this tool in your cooking process. And when you think that this one is something that you might actually go for, then you're going to fine tune that dial and pick a setting that works best. That's how tuning hyperparameters is also going to be in practice. You can almost think of every different hyperparameter setting is essentially something like a different algorithm. It just makes your head spin to think about how many different algorithms you're effectively trying if you have a continuous hyperparameter. But the parameters depend on your data, the hyperparameters, you have to pick them before you can hit one.